Cousins, I'm worried. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comes out August 8th, and that's a subject that I've been talking so much about on this channel that once it's out, I won't have any more to say about it. That could be it. What other popular franchise that I like so much will ever get any more movie information that I can actually talk about on camera? Hold on a second. Power Rangers gets writer and executive producer. I'm back in the game, baby! Of course I was going to talk about Power Rangers. What, you think I was going to talk about Thor being a woman? <laughs> you don't know me. Hi, I'm Andre and I'm a black nerd. So a while back it was announced that Lionsgate was going to be heading up a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers reboot. But of course hearing that a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers reboot movie was going to happen, even with Lionsgate name behind it, you could be like, okay, whatever. I'll wait for hell to freeze over before that gets produced. Development hell! But then this news came out recently that they actually got an executive producer on board and writer. So that means, all right, this is going to be a thing. We're going to have a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie. It's happening at some point in the future, but it's happening. It's real, yo. Now the executive producer they got is a guy named Roberto Orki or Orsi Orco. I'm gonna call him Orco. Orki has writing credits on The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Hadn't seen it. And a lot of you still keep telling me, Andre, you gotta go see Amazing Spider-Man 2. You gotta review it. Even though it's been out for over two months, you gotta review it. Orco, he worked on Spider-Man 2, whole Spider-Man franchise, was supposed to work on Spider-Man 3, and Venom left that to go work on Power Rangers. Spider-Man, American icon, been around for several years. Stan Lee, classic Excelsior. Power Rangers, been around for like 20 years on Fox Kids Network and Nickelodeon and Jetix. Spider-Man, Sony, Mark Webb, Andrew Garfield, Emma Stone, Jamie Foxx, leaving that for Lionsgate to work on a Power Rangers movie. It's official, Power Rangers, Better than Spider-Man. Shots fired. Arco is going to be developing the story along with two writers, Ashley Miller and Zach Stentz. Now here's the types of movies that they've worked on in the past. Star Trek, all right. Star Trek Into Darkness, all right. Transformers, oh God. And Mission Impossible 3. Okay, okay, you brought me back, you brought me back. Thor, thumbs up. And X-Men First Class, hmm. Well, X-Men First Class is not a bad movie per se, it's just if Darwin is any indication from that movie of how we should expect the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie to be, uh, I'd be worried if I was the Black Ranger. Oh, and Transformer writer behind this too. Oh, Jazz and Darwin? Oh, Black Ranger. <laughs> You're gonna die in this movie. Of course, Saban is gonna be behind producing the film because I am Saban. And so is Allison Shearmer. <laughs> I like to say her name, Shearmer, <laughs> who oversaw a little film franchise known as The Hunger Games. What? I hear that's big. <laughs> Still hadn't seen it. One day, one day, yo, one day. And she's also doing the live action Cinderella, which is makes sense because that involves people unlike the live action Dumbo. I've already talked about that. Now say what you will about these people and the movies that they've written. You know, some of them I like, some of them I'm like, eh, but it does bring up one good thing. They are taking this seriously. They could have easily gotten like some TV writers from Power Rangers to just be like, all right, you're gonna write a feature length version of it. But the fact that they're getting writers from X-Men First Class, Thor, even Transformers, the fact that they're getting people who have written big budget movies, Proves to me that they want this to be a thing to where whether you're a person who has loved Power Rangers for the past 20 some years, or if you are vaguely familiar with it, or if you watch Nickelodeon version, or if you're just brand new to this thing, that you can watch this and accept this in the same way as you would accept any comic book film. Now look, I'm not expecting Marvel quality from this thing. Come on, let's be real here. I mean, I love the Power Rangers, but let's admit, it's cheese. I'm not expecting the next Iron Man here. But the fact that they've got quality writers. I'm just hoping that these are the people that did the good things because there's, there's good things in all those movies listed. I'm just hoping these are the people that did the good parts of those movies and not the bad parts of those movies. <laughs> but of course this still leaves the biggest spots left open. Who's going to be the director of this movie and who is going to star in it? Who will be the cast? And let me just clarify some rumors right now, okay? 
Stop telling me that you've heard news about the cast of Power Rangers. No one has been cast for this movie, okay? What happened was MTV wrote an article when they got announced that they were making a Power Rangers movie, and they thought for fun they would make a cast list of who they would like to see as Power Rangers, and then some other blogs who can't read didn't realize that it was just them having fun and trying to promote that stuff as fact, and then I get freaking emails and tweets and Facebook messages every single day going, hey Andre, did you hear that Liam Hemsworth and Chloe Moretz are going to be the new Power Rangers? They're not. It was something that MTV made up. The same article said that Meryl Streep was going to be Rita Repulsa and Key and Peele were going to be Bulk and Skull. You can't take that seriously. Just because it's on the internet, it ain't freaking true. <sighs> One more person sends me some article talking about how Michael B. Jordan is the new Green Ranger. I'm going to slap you with my dragon dagger. And you can take that little or figurative or innuendo however you want it. But either way, your face going to get slapped with something that's dragon dagger in size, shape, and scale. That's pretty much it. That's all I have to say right now. I just Again, I'm just glad that they're actually taking this seriously. I hope this ends up being a good film. My fingers are crossed with how this could work out. The big question is gonna be, how hardcore will it be? Is it gonna be like a PG-13 dark, gritty thing? Is it gonna be aimed more towards children, but just be a little bit more serious? I mean, is it gonna be more very comedic? You know, will it be kind of funny, silly, wacky? Um, we don't know. I'm very curious to see what turns out with this, but it's just nice to know that they're not just going, hey, let's get the guys who wrote Megaforce or Samurai to write this thing, because that would make me concerned. I mean, no offense to those shows. They're great for Nickelodeon, but we talking big budget movies here. You're playing with the big boys now. Playing with the big boys now. Ooh, that's pretty. I just made a Prince of Egypt reference. <laughs> Go me! So what do you think, cousins? Is the news that these writers and executive producers who have worked on other big budget films now working on Power Rangers, does this excite you? Are you concerned based on their past writing credits? How does this make you feel? Who do you think should direct and who do you think should be cast in the Power Rangers movie? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Have fun! Thumbs up this video and if you're new here, tickle that subscribe button. I make new nerdy videos all week, every week. I love you like a play cousin. I'm Addy5000. Chain Chomp. It's more for time. Yelp.